Good morning. My name is Doug Hoffman. I am the Associate Athletics Director for Media Relations here at Utah State. On behalf of Utah State University and the USU Athletics Department, we welcome you inside the Wayne Estes Center for a very special day as we formally introduce our new head men's and women's basketball coaches. First, the 10th women's basketball head coach in school history, please welcome Wes Brooks. And the 22nd men's basketball head coach in Utah State history, please welcome Jared Calhoun. Obviously, this is your first opportunity to hear from both head coaches, but it's also their first opportunity to be a part of Aggie Nation and experience what makes Utah State basketball so special. Our program for today will be as follows. We will hear first from Utah State University Vice President and Director of Athletics, Diana Sabo. We will then hear from women, women's basketball head coach, Wes Brooks. Athletics Director Sabo will return to the podium and we will then hear from men's basketball head coach, Jared Calhoun. We will then conclude the press conference by opening it up for questions from the media. Once again, on behalf of Utah State University and the USU Athletics Department, thank you for being part of this special day. At this time, please welcome Utah State University Vice President and Director of Athletics, Ms. Diana Sabo. Thank you, Doug. I wanna first thank everyone with a heart of gratitude for your participation in today. This community truly cares about Utah State and Utah State Athletics. But more importantly, we care about basketball, both for our men and for our women. And you have been a part of this great tradition and this great history. So thank you. Today we have VIPs and deans from our institution. President Elizabeth Cantwell had the opportunity to meet with each of our candidates during the search process. And today she is on university business traveling. We may see her, but if we don't, she sends her highest regards and can't wait to see how our new head coaches develop our young talent. We have you, our donors, our investors, and our sponsors. We have members from our Blue A Collective here today. Thank you for driving and thank you for giving us your time. We have members from our 16 varsity sports and their head coaches. We have the herd. Thank you. Go Aggies, I believe. And we have our spirit squad in big blue. Thank you. This is a community that cares, a community that cares about its people and its basketball. From Logan to Cache Valley to the Wasatch Front. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. And I'm even more proud today to welcome our two newest members and their families to our athletics family here in Logan. This is a new day, a new day in Utah State University basketball. In order to grow, there must be change. And this is a unique moment in time for our women's and our men's basketball programs. I thought I would start with a little bit of background on our process so that you could all be educated on how this went. So about two and a half weeks ago, I started our process for change with women's basketball, identifying prime candidates, and exceptional leaders. Last Monday, I started our process for our men's basketball transition for a new head coach for our student athletes. During this process, we determined that we needed a head coach with energy and passion of the highest character for both programs, someone who truly cares about developing talent and developing people, not just in the field of competition, but in everyday life. We wanted to make sure that we honored, of course, our winning tradition, because winning is important, not just to our student athletes, but to this community. But we also wanted to make sure that while we reach for the postseason, that we do it with our core values and our Aggie mission. So in order to do that, we formed a small internal interviewing committee. These members of the community 
uh, and our committee, I want to thank for your time, for all the material that you had to read, and for the numerous Zoom interviews that we conducted for each searches. Thank you. Members of that committee were from our athletics department, from our university staff and academics, and from our support staff. I'd also like to thank our student athletes for our women's and our men's basketball programs that participated in this search effort. They gave of their time, they were professional, and they provided feedback that was important as we went through this process. So with that, this is a transformational day. And as I said before, I'm very proud to introduce our next leaders of our men's and our women's program. So first, I don't know if anyone's ever done a joint press conference before, but we're gonna come at this and we're gonna be untraditional, but we're gonna win. So first, we'd like to introduce Wesley. Wesley Westbrooks comes to us as our 10th women's basketball head coach. He brings 20 years of collegiate experience as a former assistant at The Ohio State University. Wes was able to take the Buckeyes to three straight NCAA appearances most recently, advancing to the Sweet 16 in 2022, the Elite Eight in 2023, and the second round of the NCAA tournament this year. Ohio State also achieved a pair of Big Ten Conference titles under Wes's leadership. Coach Brooks also coached at the University of Michigan, where he spent four seasons. He helped the Wolverines earn three straight trips to the NCAA tournament, their highest in program history, the Sweet 16. He also developed three All-Americans during this time. He spent, importantly, time at the University of Utah, so Wes knows this region, and he knows this part of the country. We're thankful for his proven effort to develop young women and to grow their talents. So please join me in welcoming Wes, his beautiful wife, Johanna, and their sweet daughter, Elsa, who's taking a nap, to our community in Logan. Good morning, good afternoon. I uh, want to first start and say I want to give honor and thanks to God for a wonderful opportunity. My wife, Johanna, and my daughter, Elsa, for their love and support every day. I also want, want to once again uh, th be, thank uh, our athletic director, Diana, and President Cantwell for giving, the, giving me the opportunity to lead the Utah State Women's Basketball Program. I am excited and I'm looking forward to establishing a program that everybody here can be proud of. Our goal will always be to win championships. I'd be remiss not to thank The Ohio State University, Kevin McGuff, Gene Smith, and Kerry Hoyt for helping me prepare for an opportunity like this. I also wanna thank the wonderful staff that I've been a part of the last three years. We had an incredible run. And finally, I'd like to thank my agent, Mike Harrison, uh, Harrison Sports Management for all his help throughout this process, as well as all the coaches who've helped me get to this point throughout my career. My ethos as your head coach will be guided by my faith, family, and doing what's best for Utah State University and our players. You can expect us to play hard. You can expect us to play fast. You can expect us to play smart. You can expect us to play together. Our players will be engaged in the community and we understand the importance of being role models and inspiring the next generations of athletes. Every day, the staff and I will look to empower, compete, and conquer. We empower by building and developing the skills of our student athletes so that they can go out and conquer on and off the court. Despite the changing landscape of college athletics, I still believe about preparing the student athlete for four years so that they can be successful for the next 40 years of their life. With that, go Aggies. Thank you, Wes. Before we move on to our men's basketball head coach introductions, we have a birthday to celebrate today. I do believe our newest member of our Aggie family Quinn Calhoun is five today. Quinn, could you stand up so we could all say happy birthday? Yeah. 
So everyone will remember that not only is April 2nd Aggie Basketball Day in Logan for Utah State University, but is also Quinn Calhoun's birthday. Okay, so now on to Quinn's dad. I would like to introduce to you our 22nd head coach of our men's basketball program. Jared Calhoun most recently led Youngstown State to back-to-back 20 season wins for the first time in school history. He spent the last seven years as the head coach of Utah State, or I'm sorry, at Youngstown State. He won the 2023 Horizon League regular season championship, and Jared was also named that year the Horizon League Men's Basketball Coach of the Year in the National Association of Basketball Coaches, NABC, Division or District 12 Coach of the Year. Prior to taking on Youngstown State, Coach Calhoun led Fairmont State to championship success during five seasons, leading the Fighting Falcons to a 124 and 38 impressive record. Also, he recorded four appearances in the NCAA Division II tournament, including a national championship runner-up finish in 2017. As a seven, 20 win campaign overall career coach. It is our excitement and honor to welcome Jared to our Utah State family. Let's welcome Jared Calhoun, his wife, Sarah, <laughs> their children, Jordan, Kennedy, Kendall, Quinn, Jared's mother, Lisa, and his trusted associate, Paul Molinari, to our Aggie family. Thank you. I got to raise this a little bit here. Really, really uh, excited to be here. I uh, cannot thank all of you guys enough for coming out. I think it speaks volumes uh, to the impact that this community uh, can have on one another. Um, I want to thank uh, our players. The most important people uh, are the players. These guys have been, as Diana said, Unbelievable. I mean, they just got done playing, making history. Um, just as we met earlier today, I cannot thank them enough. I'm excited uh, to work with these guys. Uh, I think we're going to have a, a tremendous chemistry with one another, um, and we're ready to get started. Uh, I also want to thank Youngstown State. As Wes said, he was at Ohio State. I was at Youngstown State. I can't thank President Tressel, Ron Strollo. Uh, Rocky Nolfi, the entire Youngstown State community. Uh, the way we do things here, and I think you guys will learn really fast, we pour into this community. One of the things that uh, Diana was looking for in this search is somebody that's going to be out in the community, right, at different events, uh, sporting events, anything uh, that you guys have that you want our basketball program to do, I'm here to tell you we're going to jump all in. And the environment, uh, that, that the, the impact that you can have on people uh, is, is tremendous. Um, but I will say this, uh, I was involved in a couple searches, and Paul can attest to this, and my wife can attest to this. And I told our players this, uh, you know, back on the East Coast, uh, you know, the conference games here are much later. The Aggies became my favorite team last year. I told Coach Sprinkle this two nights ago. We talked for an hour and a half. I fell in love with this group of players. I told these guys, if they come back, they run it back, we can win a national championship. I truly believe that. I got hooked on these guys. And the fan base. But as, as we went through this process, one thing that drew me to this place was, was Diana. Uh, her leadership, her vision. My wife said, you finally met your match. And I think you guys are going to realize Coach Calhoun goes 100 miles an hour, whether it's fundraising, being in this community. Um, Logan fits us. As we drove in here uh, last night, we said, this is a little bit like West Virginia. The mountains are much prettier out here, um, but we feel at home. And I think that uh, is so, so important. So why Utah State? This is not a rebuild. This is a reload. We want to reload our talent. We want to develop our talent. And we want to have a style that fans gravitate to coming into the spectrum. 
I cannot uh, cannot thank all of you guys for coming out. I know the expectation level around here. I welcome that. I welcome that. I want to I want to take that head on. I understand uh, the expectations of this program. All the coaches, all the former players had a chance uh, to reach out to a lot of those guys. One thing they constantly said was how special Logan is and how, how special the spectrum is. You get goosebumps as you go in there. You guys, uh, the herd, cannot wait to meet you guys. Whatever you need from me, I'm here for you. That's how we do it. Um, you know, as far as people always want to know style, what's your style? My style is pretty simple. We want to we want to play the right way. We want to stay connected. We want to find keep uh, advantages on the floor, whether that's a post up, a ball screen, an off ball screen. We want to be on the attack. We want to score in the 80s, right? We want to have a fun style uh, to play. Um, and and I, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna get a chance to meet all of you guys here today. Uh, the door is always open. Uh, I'm a people person, and I cannot thank you guys enough for coming out. Um, the next 48 hours are going to be very crazy. What excites me is the relationship I get to build with these guys. They've been awesome uh, so far, and uh, the goal here is, is quite simple. Let's win a national championship. Go Aggies.